So even though there are about 300,000 subgenres of cycling now, I really like the idea of one bike to do everything. So my pick for Eurobike this year is the 3T Exploro bike. It's essentially a road bike, simple road bike geometry, but with the ability to have 650B wheels with nice chunky mountain bike tires. Of course, you can just have standard 700C wheels. So it's a bike that you can race on the road one day, next day, take it off-road for a bit of fun. So one thing that's really impressed me at the show this year is the advancement of clothing, whether that's cool fabrics like Event going into rain jackets, or just the variety of styles you have. My favorite is uh, the R&D Chima jersey and bibs from Sportful. So this R&D Chima kit is what looks to be an ideal summertime kit. Uh, some thin mesh on the sides, there's an absence of grippers or even silicone bands. Uh, that's something that came directly from Pro Rider Feedback. Uh, but in some ways you get a kit that's better than what the pros have uh, because they have to have their kits uh, sublimated up with sponsor logos tip to tail. Uh, the jersey's a sweet, essentially made of one single piece, uh, virtually no seams to chafe and just looks like the perfect summertime piece, better than pro level quality at a reasonable price. At Eurobike this year, the most exciting thing for me was to finally get my hands on the new Shimano Durace 9100. Um, I'm a huge fan of Durace 9000, I think it's one of the prettiest group sets ever made. 9100, I'm not so sure about the aesthetics and I'm definitely going to ruin that lovely shiny black crank, but based on past experience, I think it's going to be an amazing group set. I've picked up the pieces, give them a little lick just felt how wonderful and light they are and yeah I think it's going to be amazing also the fact that they've included a power meter as an option is really cool so yeah I'm really looking forward to actually having a go on that. My pick of Eurobike for this year is Willie Triestina's Jeroen Plus. It's a beautifully internally brazed steel frame that's then polished so the finish looks absolutely amazing um, and they're running 27 plus tyres on it it's a great big like gravel bike packing monster uh, that looks fantastic and isn't going to be too expensive which uh, is another bonus and if you're a bit wary of going like 27 plus on a drop bar bike they also do the standard Jeroen which is just running 42c tyres so that's probably a little bit more usable I like the big monster truck idea of that plus bike so that's my pick. The Northwave Extreme RR Roadshoe is something I'm pretty excited about this year it's dead light as any high-end road shoe will be but the interesting thing is the fact that you've only got one bow dial and it kind of crisscrosses across when you tie up the pulleys that means you should get less pressure points it's also fluoro so people that like to look like a power ranger when they go out cycling they can do that but it also comes in black which is the sort of color i'd probably go for luck have just announced a power meter that fits on the inside of a shoe in the sole power meters are all the rage at the moment so i'm excited to see where it's going the model at Eurobike this year is a pre-production model and I was told that the finished product will have a much more glossy polished finish so that's nice, smart looking system. One of the obvious benefits of an insole power meter is the ability to swap between bikes. Very simple and hopefully you'll be able to see a power when walking upstairs. <laughs>